guys. Okay, so this is going to be my live reaction to chapter 814 for One Piece. Woo! -hoo! Title is Let's Go See Master Nico Mamushi Sama. Mamushi Sama, yes. I am so happy right now. I added the Sama, by the way. That's not on the actual title, just saying. But it should be. Alright, let's see here. Jump right into this mess. Ooh, I like this picture of Sanji. That's awesome. I don't know. They could have done better. I'm going to be a critic. You know what? I'm not an artist, but I'll, I will criticize the art. It doesn't move my soul. Let's go. Okay, so this is Bound Kishi Sama or Brook, whichever you prefer. Let's go see. Let's go see. Let's go see. Master Nico Mamushi. Seriously, let's go see. Why is he singing about this? Nami, where are Sanji and Cedar? Cedar? Why is Luffy calling him it's Caesar? It's Luffy. Why would Luffy remember anyone's name? Okay. Don't tell me that man just now kidnapped. No, it's nothing like that. He chose to leave. Wanda, Carrot, this incident. Our friends here are trying to ask us to forget about it, but they don't want to be so rude as to say that out loud. Catch their drift? Also, we'll be taken care of. He calms. There's no reason to get the day fools in a tizzy over nothing. Okay, so, Nika Monomushi Sam is so freaking awesome. I'm so, I love him. I love him. He's the boss. He's the boss cat. He's freaking cool. Thanks, Master. Okay, so that's not me. No, no, we can't be having you looking out for us all the time. Besides, we're the ones that should be thanking you. Ah, is that catnip? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Shrum, Master Nimik is a lonely one. My heart feels all warm and fuzzy when I think of the poor man. He shows a pure smile as he basks in the moonlight, eyes gleaming with excitement as he stands in the light. night. Yet under the light of the sun, he puts on airs. He lives on alone, giving it his all. I love Nika Mamushi Sama. I really do. Hmm, what a lovely song. Is that really who he is, Master Nika Mamushi? Brooke is like, I'm going to talk about him. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure if Nika Mamushi Sama heard this, he'd be like, Brooke, come here. I need to, I need to talk to you around the corner. <laughs> Brooke, <laughs> Brooke Sama, <laughs> I'm going to kill you, re-kill you. Nope, what do you mean, nope? I'm singing about how I imagine him to be, you lion heathen. He's, <laughs> Brooke, Soul King, you lion heathen. <laughs> he wishes Nika Mamushi Sama was like that, but he's not. Okay, guys, Sanji says there's this chick he has to see real quick. Does that mean he's going to get married? Perhaps, perhaps not. We don't know. He had a sort of resigned, resolute look on his face when he said it. But here he says he'll be back, promise. Oh, I get it. He's going to bring his bride back with him. Oh, no, 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 no. No. That means our crew is going to have another member. No, it's not. It's not going. No, it's not. You will be a part of Big Mom's crew if this actually happens, so this is a problem. His bride-to-be is a daughter of a Yonko, which means that after his marriage, we'd all become underlings in Big Mom's crew. What? No way. Right, you are. And I'm sure Sanji feels the same way. He was arming it about how against the idea he was. And that's exactly why I think, what if, what if he can't escape this marriage? That's right. Knowing him, he's probably thinking of cutting himself off. Well, duh. That's how this is going to happen, and we're going to go say hi to Big Mom. And I believe we're going to see some Lola and some Jewelry Bonnie and something about... I would like to know what's going on with Jewelry Bonnie. She got captured by Blackbeard. That's the last time I saw her. But then she got out. So, I don't know. I, I just... Hmm. One thing led to another. She's out, but I don't know. I, I haven't seen her since. That's right. Knowing him, he's probably thinking of cutting himself off. What? You mean Sanchi's going to quit our crew? That's even worse than being part of Big Mom's crew. I don't know about all that. He found a way to get us out of there. Had he wanted to, he would have been able to come with us. The fact that he wrote this letter means that he knew that we'd have to go Sanji Kun. Nami loves her dress. Nami really loves her dress. She's like, all oh. Loves her dress. These relatives of his, they're the real key to all of this. Is it his father, his mother? At any rate, we know they were in North Blue, but then crossed over to East Blue and now into the New World. Pretty crazy stuff if you think about it. Vin Smoke. I feel like I've heard that name before. Okay, hopefully Robin can shed a little light on this because she's probably the only one. 
I'm sorry, everyone. If only we'd managed to hold him back, at least until everyone else came. Sachi's the one that didn't give you guys any option. You all aren't responsible in the least. Oh, Chopper's crying. I want to give him a hug. But Robin, what if we never get to see him again? Who cares? <laughs> Mari Moro says, who cares? Zoro, I would miss you and Sanji, like, arguing, seriously. Granted, the way it stands, he's up and gone without so much as a thank you for everything. That's not what I meant. We're sorry for all the trouble. Take a moment and think. We're on a bit of an express train here. Let's see. Caesar told us, didn't he? The smile that Don't, Don Flamingo was making, it was intended for Kaido. Just as we angered Don Flamingo by destroying the laboratory... Of Punk Hazard, our destruction of the factory on Dress Rosa has angered none other than the Yonko Kaido. So, we got Big Mom and we got Kaido. And the problem is, is Sanji's going over to marry Big Mom's 35th daughter, Purin, and we pissed off Kaido to no end. So, are we going to have to take on two freaking Yonkos or are they, what what is going to happen here? And they're still looking for Raizo. Is this ninja that... Is this ninja even worth looking for anymore? I mean, there's so much going on. There's too much going on that I don't know how this is all going to even play out or how it's even going to start. It's just insane. Like, what Oda has kind of done here is made something so simple. This manga is so simple to something so complicated that there's like six different things going on that we know of. Like six or seven different things. We still have no idea how Kaido did against Kid and... Apo and yeah, those two, they're screwed. They died. I'm sorry, Kaido, Kaido kicked their ass. Uh huh, unless they finally put some Kairosuke handcuffs and drowned him in the ocean, because that's all I got. That's one. You know, Burgess has led Blackbeard over to Dragon. That's, that's fam freaking tastic. Great. Just great. I hope we don't, I'm, I'm, I want to know the results of all of this, but I don't want a bunch of chapters on these different things. And there's more. There is. There's more. There's other, you know, alliances that we know a little bit about, and a little bit here, a little bit there, but now we got a kidnapping of Sanji, and we got a pissed off Kaido. Great. Just great. Just fantastic. Just like Jack, the man who destroyed this country, Kaido and his goons are no longer some far-off threat. It's just a matter of time until they chase us down and demand payback in cold blood. Zora's right. Zora's always right when it comes to the stupid, like the stupidity of some of the crew members and their choices or their selfishness. He's always been the backbone that's like, no, no, this is bad. This is really bad. The main reason we even joined up with Traffy in the first place was he called Zoro called Traffy called Lol Traffy. I'm so sorry, that's funny. Joined up with Traffy in the first place was to have his assistance in the upcoming fight. What's more, Kinemon and his friends for as of yet unknown reason are also being targeted by Kaido and that's another thing. So it's Raizo and it's just like ugh. Sooner or later we're going to have to, to throw down with the man himself and it's not gonna be fun. <laughs> They're screwed. In a way, they're screwed. I don't I don't think they're Kaido ready. And I feel like it's coming up. One of the other is coming up. And I don't know how they're going to do against it. Because Don Flamingo is like, I believe, like maybe one or two levels below Kaido. Traffic Law and Luffy barely did that. Like, literally, Luffy was going to die if the citizens of Dress Rosa didn't help him for five or what was it, ten minutes. So them going up against a Yonko right now, I just don't see it. I don't, I don't see it. I see them getting wiped out, but that's it. <sighs> and in the midst of all of this, that curly eyebrowed idiot goes and sticks his nose in the business of another Yonko, Big Mom. Wait a sec, that's not fair. He didn't stick his nose in anything. What happened is separate from all that other stuff. Don't make making shitty excuses for him. What do you mean, don't make light of other, another's troubles? Okay, we're never going to figure out what's happening if we just sit here and argue about it. Let's just go talk, go and talk to Sanji. Chopper's like, what? Zoro's like, oi, Luffy, drop it. That's 
so Luffy's an idiot, and I believe Big Mom is going to be the next one. I believe they're going over to his place. You telling me you want to go pay Big Mom a visit? You're the one that picked a fight with her, or have you forgotten? We can't just march in there without a plan or strategy. We'll get crushed. She's on Yonko, Luffy. Don't forget that. This person is on a completely different level than any of our opponents so far, and I'm going to kill Yahoo. Well, then, we can just sneak in. Don't make it sound so easy. To be fair, it's not as if we have no way of tracking them down. What? Really? How? He's right. Big Mom's crew forgot a rather important person in their haste. If he's awake, maybe he we can ask him a thing or two. Oh, yeah, Big Mom's. May as well pay him a visit then. All right, then, Nikamomashi sama. And we are going to go say hi to Big Mom's and see if we can actually get him to tell us where Big Mom is. And if that's the case, then maybe we can get Sanji back by secretly sneaking him out. I don't care. I don't I don't really care. It's just, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Well, Forest Guardians Residential District. Whoa, guard you. Boy, everyone, it's the Straw Hat Pirates. Okay, so everyone's greeting them. Looks like this place got pretty messed up, too. Chopper's here, everyone. Okay, so. When you look at it from up close, the well tree sure is huge. Is it just me, or do these mink guys heal up super fast? It's not just you. I wish we could do that. I, I want to heal up super fast, like especially after a boob surgery. I mean, who wouldn't want to heal up fast? <laughs> straw hat Luffy, it's uh, sorry about earlier. We just don't tolerate intruders in the straw, uh, slightest. Ah, oh, you guys, don't worry about it. Where's Nikomomushi? Nikomomushi-sama? I love this cat, I really do. Thank you for coming, Savior and his friends. Who's that? Allow me to once again express my gratitude. Thank you. He's already forgotten him. He's already forgotten about Pedro from when they were on the bridge. Apologies for the blunder of my men earlier. We've gotten a little bit oversensitive to intruders. Hmm, where were you? He's completely forgotten about Pedro. In the treetops. Anyway, Beppo and the others are waiting. Ah, oh, well, they can wait a bit more. I want to see Nika Mamushi and the, that lion mink, Pico Mamushi. Pico Mamashi. Pico Mamashi. Oh, yeah, Picoms. Pico Mamashi. He's sitting there adding adding names and titles to him. If you mean Picoms, you're in luck. He's awoken. He's in the building in the back. We've been keeping this a secret from everyone else. Sanchi's a good guy. If there's anything we can do to help. Luffy, I'm really worried about Nika Mamashi, so I'll be going ahead and check up on him. Okay, so the chopper's separating, going to see Nika Mamashi. And we're going to go see Picoms, and I don't get to see Nika Mamashi. I'll get over it. I'll get over it. Dr. Chopper, let me guide you. Oh my gosh, Chopper loves Wanda, and Wanda is so cute. Boy, Chopper, why are you getting all stiff? I'm, I'm not stiff, stupid. This way, please. Oh, okay. You're acting weird, man. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, is she a deer? I thought it was Wanda for a second. There was a different, oh, she's different. She's just got Wanda's hair, but she's got antlers and Chopper's like, hi. <laughs> she's like, hello. If he changed into deer form, it could totally do it. The master in his bath right now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wait, bath? I didn't know, I didn't know he would take a bath. Oh, he is chilling. He is singing, and he is chilling, and he's pretty much talking about lasagna because he's Garfield right now. Oh, my gosh. I thought I told you baths were forbidden. Your wounds will reopen. The chopper's pissed. He's like, I don't care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to soak in my bath. You're also supposed to stick to the light foods, and I forbade you from using your left hand. They they do what they want. Goro, yan yan, yo, chopper. Don't worry, just kick back and relax. I'm a freedom-loving kind of man. Okay, so you're screwed, Chopper. He's not going to listen to you. That, he, you're just screwed. You're not, no. He's bigger than I imagined he'd be. Don't ignore my instructions. Everybody ignores Chopper's instructions, like literally. He's just, he's taken for granted each time. It's hilarious. Sorry, but even orders of a doctor are, but whoa there, words on the wind to me. <laughs> I'm still not used to not having my left hand. At this rate, I won't even be able to clap. He's so cute. Oh, are you all the straw hat pirates? He's hugging them. He's so cute. 
You sure saved our hide. Thank you. I promise you I'll repay this debt one day. Despite how I look, I'm never one to shirk my duties or obligations. Oh, a ball. Whee, a ball. Oh, my God. Nika Mumba, she's playing with the ball. What happened to my mafia cat? What happened to my Nika Mumba sheet sama? Why is there a ball involved? What part of limit your movements do you not understand? And Chopper's pissed. No. Oh, my God. All his wounds just opened up. Look, you've gone and reopened all your wounds while he's playing with the ball. My Nika Mamushisama is a klutz, and he reminds me way too much of Garfield right now. I'll get past this. I still love him. Oh, he's in bed because he died a little on the inside. Look here, the only reason I've gotten in the, this bed is because I wanted to. I felt like it got it, not because he listened to Chopper. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just stay still. Here's your shot. Oh, are you there? Grab that foxtail. He wants to play with the foxtail like this. Oh my god, he's playing with the foxtail. He's so stupid. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be okay. Chopper, get it over with I, one go while I'm distracted over here. I thought I told you not to move. Wait, this guy's scared of shots looking like that. He's scared of shots. He's scared of shots. Oh my god, Brooke is dying. I'm dying. He said, yo, this guy really is a riot. Why well, I felt totally better already. Now then, this isn't some magic bullet drug. It hasn't even started working yet. Do not move. He just whacked him with... Hey, oi, don't whack your patient. He just whacked him with a little cat toy. Oh, you scared me. She's freaking watching me for the... Do y'all see this? Like, that's all I felt. I felt very scared. Stop looking at me for that. That's really scary. I felt it. I'm not being weird. They want to see my reaction, okay? That's all I'm doing. Oh my god, she scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and she knows that she's back there laughing. Look at this. She's, she knows she's sitting. She's like incognito over there next to the couch. I told you to go to sleep. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Hold on, let me get through these last three pages and we'll set up the bed and make you pass out. So you're okay, that's a relief. I dodged about half of those attacks with my power, that beige bastard. My bad, I take it he's taken Sanjay. Now there's no escape in that marriage. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Pico Momushi. Okay, so they're talking to the Combs. Who arranged for this marriage? Well, that would be Mama and the father of the Vin Smoke family, of course. Sanjay's dad, what sort of person is he? He's an infamous man throughout the underworld. Never heard of him? The Vince Monk family, well, to put it simply, is a family of assassins. Boom! It is not the government guy. It's not the government official. All of you who thought he was some prince of Mary Jo in your face, he is not, he is not, he is not. He's just an assassin family in the underworld. And that is it. All of you with your theories of like 1.2 million views, I feel sorry for you. I feel bad for you. That is hilarious because I never not once thought he was a prince of anything or thought he was any type of royalty. I never really thought he was um, related to what's-his-face, the guy with a long-ass beard who I feel like is going to die any second anyway. They should. They're like from three generations ago before Gold Roger. They should be dead. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a family of assassins nothing nothing more nothing less and that's it what are your thoughts leave your comments what do you think the next chapter is going to pull up about the assassin family the vin smoke assassin family which is not from mary joe which is probably not related to any of the five old farts laying on top of the um marines and yeah tell me how you feel Tell me how you feel. Oh, and subscribe if you haven't. See you guys. Bye.